Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is your chief, just call me Ruel, welcome to my blog, Kamote Express. What happens when a ship runs aground? Please support my channel by clicking the subscribe button and by hitting the notification bell so that you will be notified when I will upload another video. Thank you! There are consequences when a vessel runs aground. One is loss of life. When a vessel capsizes because of grounding, then this may cause loss of life, especially if she is a passenger vessel, when panic may cause it first before drowning. And surely, loss of property follows. Number two is marine pollution, especially oil. Oil pollution is the most likely to occur after grounding when the oil tanks below the vessel are damaged and cracked due to impact of the lower part of the vessel on rocks. Number 3 is financial loss. Owners can incur heavy losses due to fines and compensation. Billions if not billions can be imposed as fine to a company due to oil pollution. Under financial loss, damage to the vessel also follows and the time wasted because of the accident can be a burden to the owners, especially if the vessel is laden. Emergency repairs will be done in dry dock. The time of going to and from the dry dock is also costly. How long will the repair be finished? Let us see underneath the vessel and check the damage damage is here There are other damages, for example this one.
by the divers. What do you think of the damage? Surely it will take many days to repair. It is still lucky for the owners because this vessel has no oil tank below. All are located between the topside tank and the cargo hold. Let us study briefly how and why this happened. Causes of grounding accident. One is human error. Two is mechanical failure. And three is bad weather. For mechanical failure and bad weather, there are procedures to follow in our company's safety management system and we have to read and know about this when you are on board. There could also be human error in mechanical failure when you are not following the PMS, the Planned Maintenance System. Human error can be 1. Negligence in the performance of duty 2. Wrong decision making in a situation and 3. Inadequate plan Vessels can run aground in harbors, in shallow waters, approaches and anchorages in canals, rivers, and lakes. Dangerous points are marked on chart, so if you have a good passage planning, then there is no reason that you will strike a charted rock, except if it is uncharted or undiscovered dangers. Navigation is not a one-man job and so is passage planning. There should be a bridge teamwork. Before the start of the voyage, there should be a meeting between deck officers regarding the passage planning. In reality, this is only happening in paper by signature in most cases and not in actual, especially if the officers are veterans. What happens when there is no actual meeting? prior to the commencement of the voyage. There is a tendency that the vessel will run aground on the dangers inside the harbor, especially in bad weather, and when the pilot disembarked early for his safety, then the master who has been in that port a few times is confident that it is an easy job. The problem is that when he forgets about the dangers and did not adjust his course, to counter the effect of bad weather, then the accident may happen. That is negligence. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this presentation and I wish I have shared something important to be used in your work on board. See you next time. Please support my channel by clicking the subscribe button and by hitting the notification bell so that you will be notified when I will upload another video. Thank you.